Colby getting owned by coach? Oh my gosh, dude. I can only imagine what Colby's thinking. He's got to be like, I may as well just become a woman. You no. tore up, man. I yeah. am, yeah, really yeah, bad. That's really? About 10 bites already. You, they like that dragon blood. <laughs> <laughs> At least our guys know they're useless, except for Coach. He seems to think he's amazing. Oh my god, you ate the whole thing. Hell yeah, man! I don't know where he got that idea. Many, many adventures, hurricane, shark attacks. Uh, along the way. The actual content of the story really didn't mean anything to me. I'm not really buying what Coach is selling. I wake up to find the Mexican Federale standing over me. And then they grab me, and they force me on my knees, and they put an AK-47 in my head. I know I'm stealing Coach's mantra here, but I'm going into this like a warrior. You and the Dragon Slayer? <laughs> Ooh, I see romance blooming between Jerry and Coach. And Jerry's in total denial, but she totally flirts. And she's, I think, in spite of herself, a little bit of love with the Dragon Slayer. You don't step away from love. If it's hitting you in the face, you grab a hold to it. You never know, man. You never know. You never know. I would never get in the way of true love. Go for it, dude. Go I agree. For it. I think we need to just not hang out very much, you know, just kind of let me know what you hear. I said, look, I'm not going to hang out with you as much. I need some space. This is just like a relationship for me, actually. <laughs> I'm not your girlfriend. I never was. Back off. <laughs> I know somebody that, you know, is so full of himself when you give him a challenge, they're just going to have to do it because they're the greatest and the best. And, you know, every day out here, they get stronger. I'd love to be a hero, but he's really a villain. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> I bet on you! What? I bet that you would make it! I bet that you'd fall in the water! Oh, give it up! Oh, no. Give it up! You're not a warrior! Get up there! Get back down! Get back down! Man! Our shelter's terrible. Well, it's not that bad. It's terrible. It's, bad. it's terrible. It's really bad. And therein lies the difference between Coach, who can endure anything, and the rest of us, who would like something to lie down. <laughs> Coach now. leading the tribe of villains, using all oh. of that life experience in a kayak. <laughs> we have delusional Coach. Everybody knows Coach is a big joke. So he could go around flapping his jaws all he wants. My gums were like bleeding a little bit, and I started getting these big sores on my face. I'm like, all right, what's this? Is this the same story as last night? Not the same story, my man. <laughs> Starting out this awful similar. No, it's not. Trust me. OK. So it's <laughs> Coach, get your hand on the back. No, no, replaying. No, no, no. No! No! Do over! Go! Inadvertent or not, you used your arm. Take that anger and point it to the pirate, not me. Let's go! Never mind that. Let's go! Coach in trouble! Coach in the mind for the villain! Hero score! Coach will delegate, you do this and I'll do this and we'll go do that. But then when you look, coach is gone two miles out. But dude, it's gonna be all for nothing. It's that one sentence that Sandra said tonight that was not even true, man. If you want me to put you through it, I may tell you things you don't like, but it's gonna turn out better for you. I promise you. Like what? Don't wear feathers in your hair at tribal. Don't tell your stories. People don't believe your stories. They mock you. There's no reason to tell them. And do your Tai Chi in private where nobody can see you. He cried. He was like sobbing. I just can't like, believe he would quit. I can't believe that. This morning, there's been a little bit of an attitude shift. Coach had a little sob session with Tyson, wanted to quit the game or something. I don't know. That's not much of a coach, if you ask me. So what was the crap you're talking about? Tyson was talking crap about you. What was he saying? He's like, oh, coach is down on the beach crying. And the girls just kind of made fun of it. Everybody this morning walks out on the beach starting to doing a little coachy in a circle. You know, all that meditating crap. I think we've all been carried away on the tide of Coach's craziness. Now switch the hands when you get to the top. But I think the important thing is, is that we're drinking the Kool-Aid as a team. And everyone's gone crazy together. And up. Bring your arms up. 
like this. So, for whatever reason it is, because I think mostly for us it's a joke, but it makes Coach feel good. So that's good. You have to humor him. No, it doesn't take much. All you have to do is like play along, like even a little bit. And even if you laugh in his face, he doesn't seem to notice. So, all right. But he blows it. Come on. Coach now for the villain. Oh, get it, Calvin! Just hold it, Ken! Coach is a chick, come on! I'm gonna show Coach, I'm gonna say. Yeah, coach will do whatever you want. Just scared. Yeah. He's a scared little puppy. I feel like I need to do something monumental like the Knights of the Round Table. <laughs> that would go like this and you put the, Can I do this? No, you do it. You would like knight me just like that. Coach bows down to me. He was the one kneeling to me, and I knight him. As the king that I am, I knight the Dragon Slayer to be part of my kingdom. I saw him play on his season, and I really think Coach is a pathological liar. You know, he truly believes what he says. I don't think Coach is a knight from the round table. I don't think he's a soldier. Somebody needs to tell him there's no such thing as dragons. He's a simple guy to figure out. He thinks he's a lot more complex and deep than he really is, but he's not. Coach wanted to solidify the night to the round table to where, I don't even remember what he said. Coach is kind of a weird cookie when it comes to bringing things together. He summoned it around my neck <laughs> to bring us closer together. It's a good gesture. I think it really works for him. It doesn't work so much for me. That guy is so naive. So as much as I like Coach and as much as I trust him, I mean, I don't see someone who gets it like in the grand scheme of this game. He's almost dead set against manipulating anybody. He wants to be the good guy to everyone. And you can't, you can't be the good guy to everyone and win this game. You're saying that you're giving your word and that you're the most loyal? You better do what you say you do. Or let it be known that you're a liar. You're a little man. Coach is a pathological liar. I hate Coach. I talked to Coach today, and he told me that he felt bullied by Russell. He regretted voting out Raw. The only wrench in the gear is that he is completely unreliable and wishy-washy. But if we can make Russell and Coach go after each other, it seems like we might have a little bit of a shot here. Russell is no joke. He's making us all look completely stupid. Do you know what I mean? That guy is out for himself. I've never seen such a thing. I've never seen such a thing either. I'm serious. I heard Coach was saying that he made a mistake and he wished he could go back. What mistake? In letting Rob go home. Mm -hmm. That he should have never made the choice that he made and that he's sorry. That's what he told her. And that he wanted to get rid of you. So, I don't know about your homeboy. Oh, he ain't my homeboy? He's gonna flip. He's mad at me for getting rid of Literally. Rob. And now he's trying to stab me in the back. Who does he think he is? The big coach, the coach man, the dragon slayer. He's going home tonight. Think about who we have to sit out in the next yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. I want to win this feast. Coach, you sitting out. Sandra and Courtney. Why did this stupid mistake get made again that we made last time? He's the one that says Sandra and Courtney. Come on, guys, let's do it. And I had comments like, well, I'm going to do my best. Courtney, you're not having any of that. When, you know, it's a reward challenge, it was Coach saying, well, I want to eat, so A squad on. And then I don't care about the immunity challenge because we'll put the two weak people in there, and then obviously it'll be one of us going home. What we all want as a tribe is for Courtney to say, I want to do that because I can beat that challenge. Thanks, Dad. You're a freaking lunatic. I'm just glad I don't have to live with you anymore. A nice feather in your hair. Ninth person voted out of Survivor Heroes versus Villains and the first member of our jury. Coach. We went ahead and voted out Coach because I told Russell that Coach was gonna vote for him. And that's why Coach is probably now out there looking into the sky, wondering where everything went wrong. We got a little reprieve when we voted out Coach and everyone came together in hatred of Coach, which was amazing. 